Alrighty, for uh, this food, we're gonna be drawing a slice of pizza. Um, so pizza, slice of pizza is uh, very triangular, right? But instead of just drawing a flat triangle, we have to give it some form. Uh, we have to make it look three-dimensional uh, by uh, making sure that we add in that crust. All right, so that's gonna be the key part of um, drawing this pizza slice, as you'll see in a second. So I like to start with the, the top of the pizza, um, but rather than uh, just drawing like, um, in, like an isosceles uh, triangle, like a pizza from a top view, we're gonna draw a scalene triangle um, and it's gonna be at an angle. The, the triangle is gonna be at an angle, right? Uh, that way we can show part of the bottom. And make sure that this side here, since pizzas, generally speaking, um, pizza slices uh, come from like large circles of pizza, right? Uh, the crust, part, uh, the crust part right here is going to be round. And then we're gonna add the bottom. This is the bread at the bottom, right? The crust at the bottom uh, that we usually don't like to look at because uh, we like to look at all the toppings, right? So uh, underneath the cheese here, we're gonna have our bread. And I like to add this uh, dripping melting cheese because you know when you lift up the slice of pizza, right? There's usually that mozzarella string of cheese um, that comes with it. And then when it finally breaks, it kind of like dangles off of the, the slice. Um, so in order to make sure that uh, it's, it doesn't look transparent, we're gonna erase um, the insides of those drips. It's okay if you erase what you drew before, just draw it again. Okay, and there you go. We have those drips. Um, I also erased the top up here so it makes it look like it's falling over. And then fix the crust again to make sure that uh, it's still there. And now we're gonna start with the bread, all right, or the crust part, all right? So the crust is kind of puffy. So I like to add this like circular shape right here, okay? And this is the part that's cut, right? So that's why you can see that, um, that part of the crust. Uh, then this line on the outside should be pretty much the same curve as this line or this line here. Okay, so uh, in order to figure out where you should stop, I like to draw this end. It should match this end here, right? So this side and this side should be the same. You don't have to draw this like bottom part, but you just need to draw the top part, right? And then connect the, um, the back here with a curve. And you pretty much have a cheese. At this point, you pretty much have a cheese pizza slice. I'm just adding in some lines here, some curved lines to make it look puffy. And that's pretty much a cheese pizza slice. Okay, but I'm gonna be adding in some toppings now, right? So uh, pepperonis are just gonna be little ovals. Oh, hold on, I'm still adding some other stuff. All right, there you go. So pepperonis look like little ovals. Um, Make sure uh, you spread them out. Don't just like, I know sometimes in real life you want a bunch of pepperonis, but here, right, spread them out so that way it doesn't look so um, fake. Uh, it looks more like a, a regular pizza. And then if you want to draw mushrooms, you don't have to draw like all the little details of the mushrooms. It's literally just like uh, a half circle or a semicircle with a little like rect square attached to it. Um, and if you're drawing something like this, like a mushroom, make sure they go in different directions, all right? Because if they're all facing the same way, it looks like someone carefully placed them to all look like that. But in real life, people just throw the mushrooms on, right? They don't have time for that, all right? And uh, I think I'm gonna add one more topping. Probably, yeah, okay. So I add in some like peppers or onions, right? They both kind of look the same in this here. Uh, make sure again, um, even though they're just like rectangles or like curved rectangles, uh, make sure that you're placing them randomly um, and going in different directions. All right, like I have here. And that's pretty much how you draw a pizza slice. All right, you don't have to have this many toppings either. You can have fewer toppings uh, and then have other slices with more toppings later. Um, you just wanna practice uh, the main shape, um, which is just the, a cheese pizza. And if you can, Add in some pepperonis because those are the easiest types of, draw, uh, of toppings to draw.